Hi, this is Kylie Koo. Welcome to my studio. So I just want to say a big thank you to all the members of the Mixed Media Emporium Facebook group. The work you share in group is always wonderful, it's amazing, but for last week, for the trees, it was just out of this world. It, the, you know, every single piece of work in there was fantastic. So thanks to all of you for sharing that really wonderful work, inspirational work as well. So if you're not a member of the Mixed Media Emporium Facebook group and you'd like to join us, there's a link below. This week our prompt is leaves and flowers and again open to you. I just wanted to show you this leaf that I picked up from the garden. I don't think that's one from autumn there, I think that's probably from at least a year before but the detail on it was just so amazing. I had hoped to maybe be able to print with it or use it on the gel plate in some way but it's just too delicate so I am just going to keep this in my studio and take inspiration from this at different points. But let me get started for this week and I will put the rest of this video on at speed. So what I'm going to be doing this week is some easy make leaf stamps. Now this is just a, a foam sheet, this particular one came from Hobbycraft can't remember the exact price, it was either 50 pence or, or maybe a pound. It's A4 size and I have actually made some leaves in the past using this and I think it works very effectively, you know, and you get your own one-of-a-kind type stamps. Uh, I do have a video making these before so I am going to put a link to that above and in the description box. Now usually I would draw directly onto the foam sheet but you know you may not be comfortable with that so I'm going to show you a very easy way to make a template. Now you could initially do your drawing on a piece of paper and I'm just using an old envelope here or you can do it this way. Roughly cut uh, a rectangle, fold it in half, fold it in half again and then just cut from the bottom to the open sides and there you have a basic leaf shape. You can do these all different sizes and you could even just fold it in two if you don't want top and bottom to be the same. This one I've just made a slight uh, stem on it so again very basic shape and I'll just do one more just to show you a long thin leaf and again I'm just folding that twice and this just allows me to have a very even and symmetrical leaf on the four kind of sides. So those will become my templates. I'm now going to take a template and I'm just using a biro pen, ballpoint pen and all I'm going to do is draw round this. So I'm just using my template as a guide to draw round, getting it as, as close to the edge of that as possible. And I've obviously put it as close to the edge of the foam as possible, so there's very little waste. But any waste that is left over, I will use at some future point. So I'm now just going over this again and I'm pressing deeper just making a little groove with the pen. And once you've made that, started to make that groove once, you know, you can go back over and the pen more or less just follows in that. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut along the groove and cut this piece out. And I'll now do the exact same with my other two templates. Now I'm just going to use the pen again and put some stylized design on it. Now often a leaf will have the kind of stem piece going right down through the middle. Normally I would draw that in by hand but just showing you here you can take a ruler and just put that down. Now the one thing I would say about using a pen like this, if you go too far down you, you are at risk of cutting right the way through it. But you do want to make your grooves quite deep. Now I'm just going to hand draw 
the kind of veins coming off that centre line. But I'm making this very stylized, and I'm going to make the other side a little bit different. So I'm not going right up to the edge there, and you'll see why in just a moment. So going over those lines again, just to get them quite deep. Deep enough so that when I put paint or ink on this, then you'll get the effect. Now just taking my pen and doing little dots, really just using the pen to push in. And of course you don't actually need a pen for this, any sharp implement will do, such as the back of a paintbrush. I'm just twisting that a little bit just to get it deeper in. And you can see that there. The pen obviously allows me to show you more of the design. Just going over that a bit more with the pen. Now I'm just going to start to draw some circles. So I think the video I made these in last time, I actually looked at real leaves and tried to kind of copy them in a sense, whereas this time I'm doing something a bit more stylized. Pen ran out there. This one has very little ink left in it as well, but I'm just trying to show you how I'm getting the design. So just taking those circles all the way down to the bottom. Yep, pen is just about done. Getting every last drop out of it though. I'll just do similar with my other two. This one, I'm just doing a centre line of circles. And all I'm going to do is take my pen and make little nicks down the edges. And you can really do any design on this at all. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to cut some pieces out so it looks as if the plant has been nibbled by some little insect or other. Now, I'll leave all the details of the supplies that I've used in the description box below. I'm just putting some little details on that. I didn't push that down quite as far, so you'll see the difference that that makes. Now, I had a quick idea about a flower design. I've just taken these wine corks. One is bigger than the other, so I'm going to put that in the centre. I arrange these round and I put an elastic band around it. I'm not really going to use this today, but I just wanted to show you this as an idea. I might need to actually cut the bottoms off a bit and maybe glue them in place because they were a little bit difficult to stamp with. So I'm just going to do a test stamping now of my leaves. Now you could glue your stamps to a piece of cardboard or a piece of wood. I just always leave them loose. So I've stamped on it there and I'm just using my acrylic plate and that gives quite a nice design. I liked how it came through the other side as well. Just doing the same. You can just press it down with your fingers. It gets a little bit messy, but we don't mind messy, do we? Or at least according to your answers last week, we don't Many of us don't mind messy. Just showing you that alongside the actual leaf there. A nice colour, similar colour. Just going to quickly try this, this flower thing. As I say, not terribly successful. I'll work at this because I think there's something in there. But I might just make them shorter, combine them in a different way. I was finding it difficult to, to get the ink on. So getting a bit of an outline there, and certainly if I was stamping this into a journal or anything, I'd then take a pen, draw around it, take some paint, colour it, and I think something could be made from that. Just going to show you how you could use the leaves as well, just to make more of a flower. So just stamping that onto there. Draw in a, a stalk stem and a very basic flower shape. So just going to show you a few ways that the stamps can be used. This is my journal that I made earlier in the year. Here's a page that just has some collage on it and I'm basically just going to do some stamping on here. 
So I've taken one of the little Distress inks, this is in a green of some sort, and just stamping it in the same way. Interestingly, the paint underneath is acting as a bit of a resist, which of course was one of our previous prompts. And that to me is looking quite nice. I might do something more on this page, or it might just sit as a page like that in my journal. I probably will come back and add something more at some point, but just adding layers and adding interest. Next, I'm going to take my small gel plate and just show that you can use these for actual gel plate printing as well. So just taking a couple of colours, these are the PBO Dyna range. One's just a kind of green, one's a blue, and I'm just going to mix the two together. You could, of course, use your little uh, templates for the leaves as a mask, but I'm just going to use the actual stamps that I've made. So I just take those corks and I'm just going to use this as a bit of a, a background design to begin with, just to get a bit of an interest on a page. So I have some plain white copy paper, just normal printer paper, that I've torn down to A6 size and I'm just going to lift that up. And you can see the little bits of background interest there. I'm going to take that as a ghost print and of course that's also going to pull up whatever was still on my plate from the last time and I really quite like that one. So now I'm actually going to try and incorporate my leaves. So this is a marmalade metallic. Just going to use the one colour now. Rolling that out. Putting my stamp on. I'm going to take a sheet of paper and lift all the paint from around the stamp, or as much as possible. Take that off. Now I'm going to lift my stamp off, trying not to move it. Taking that piece which was the ghost print, just lining it up a little bit. And then I'll just go over that, hoping to get the leaf design. And there we have it, and I'm quite pleased with that one. So I'm going to do something similar. This time using Space Grey. Again, this is a, a metallic. So again, I'll just roll this out. And of course, that's the thing with this. You can make it as abstract as you want. It doesn't have to be the actual colour of leaves or whatever. And I just thought the Space Grey might look that little bit different. And this time I'm going to put my three stamps on. One kind of hanging off, but that's okay. Taking that other one, and again, I'm going to try and lift as much of the paint as possible that's around about the stamps. Taking them off. Taking that other piece that I'd stamped initially. And just going to lift the print. And I really like this one. I think the grey on that background just looks really good. Using the excess paint there, I'm just going to lift that. Not going to be anything in particular that comes up this time, but it's just about not wasting paint. In last week's video, I'd made a mini painted masterboard or background, so I'm just taking a piece of that I think it's A6 size and I'm just going to use a part of that to create another design. So I've put my leaf on, my leaf on, and I'm now just putting that down. And what I'm going to do now is lift a print from what was left on there. So it's almost as if I've got a kind of positive and negative effect. So, just looking at the various pieces that I've created. 
and I'm going to go back now to this one and just do a little bit more work on it. This was just a basic marker pen and I'm just going to do a sketchy border. It's just to put a few finishing touches to this. Then have a think about, will I put some white dots on it? I'm not entirely certain what I want to do. But I decide to go for it with my white Sharpie paint pen. So just putting some dots around that outer edge of the leaf. Just to highlight it a little bit. I think about do I want to do that with the kind of negative side of it, but I decide to do that with black in the end. But I'm kind of having a day of where my pens are all running out. It's funny how sometimes a few seem to go at once. And I do swap this pen out in a moment for, I think it's a, a Stabilo pen. It's actually one of those that kind of writes on anything. You can get it for CDs and the likes if you want to, to mark up those. But it works quite well in art projects as well. There we go. Getting a deeper shade of black now. So trying to keep a kind of similar pattern with both prints. Yes, so it's Stabilo right for all. Just going to add in a little bit more detail, bringing the white over to this side this time, and then I'll take the black onto the other side. And of course this is something I could do lots of detail on, but I decide that today I don't want to do much. So I'm just going to do a few dots on it before I finish. So I will put together a list of some other projects where I've worked with leaves in the past. And I will attach the link to that above, below and at the end. But I'm quite pleased with how that turned out. really like that one. And I do like that one too. That will go back in the journal, which I might work on, and these will be used as collage. And even that too will be used as collage at some point. So thanks so much for watching. Check out Nina's video and look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye for now.